Okay, this is Mr. Andrew B. 1998 back with you once again. And this is part two of my Disney VHS collection, the gold titles. Yup. Last left off with Operation Dumbledore Drop. I had to put that away since I got done showing that. Move on from there with the 1997 VHS of D3 The Mighty Ducks. This is far and away the best ducks yet, says KNX Radio, CBS Radio. Spine, Kirk Limo Estevez. And the back, says packed with action, slapstick, hijinks, and all the glorious stuff of the movie, says the Hollywood Reporter. It's the tape with an ink label. Print date is December 6, 1996, even though this is a 1997 VHS. Next. I have two copies of Honey, We Shrunk Ourselves. This is the first copy. Yeah, I got this tape at the Goodwill Store in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Back on December 29th, 2012. It says, all new, full-length motion picture. Here's the spine character profile of the parents. And the back says, Disney brings you big time fun for the whole family. It's a tape with the ink label. Print date is February 18th, 1997. Here's the second copy. I got this tape at the Holland Rescue Mission Thrift Store. We're back on April 3rd, 2014. It's a tape with an ink label. Needs to get rewound. Print date for this one is January, January 29th, 1997. These two tapes, I believe, were printed kind of a month apart. 20 days apart, I'm guessing. Next, I have three... 101 Dalmatians 1997 VHS's. This is the first copy, yeah. This one I got at Vintage Stock in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Back on... On July 4th, 2011. It's the spine character profile of Corella DeVille. And the back says 101 on a scale of 10. Glenn Close gets 101 zillion. The end says Joel Siegel of Good Morning America. It's the tape with the ink label and the print date's February 22nd, 1997. Here's the uh, the other copy. Yeah, this is one I believe I've shown this one. Just one. That was last year. Showing this second time. Print date for this one is February 23rd, 1997. So these two were printed a, a day apart. Here's the one with. Here's the alternative printing. This is the later pressing. This this one this one's got no previews. The label, print dates March 25th, 1997. I know there are a lot of copies that do, most copies do have previews. But this one right here does not have previews. This one right here has no previews. The next tape is the 1997 VHS of Jungle to Jungle. It's the perfect family film, says so CBS Radio. Spine of Tim Allen. In the back, and it says, Alan is a marvel, charming, funny, clever, a perfect cast, says the Los Angeles Times. Yeah, my dad brought this tape home for me back on July 25th, 2014. Some tape, the ink label, print dates June 21st, 1997. <clears throat> Next is the 1997 VHS of brand new, brand spanking new Doug. Slam Dunk Doug, 1997 VHS. Spine, careful of Doug. The top, the other spine, and the back. There's no critic review, unfortunately. It's a tape with the ink label. The print date is July 11th, 1997. So this tape was printed seven days after Independence Day. And next, you know I got... Five copies of Beauty and the Beast Enchanted Christmas. This is one of the copies. Yeah, yeah, my dad brought this tape home for me back on July 25th, 2014. Says the only movie. Here's the spine character for Belle and the Beast and the back, and it says the original cast returns for Disney's Untold Chapter in a tale as old as time. Tape with the ink label, 
Print date's October 5th, 1997. And these are the ads that, that were originally from my other copy. Moved over to this copy. Here's this copy, yeah. Uh, yeah, my dad brought this copy home for me back on July 25th, 2014. Yeah, the label's the same. Print date, however, is October 14th, 1997. So these two were printed nine days apart. This one's got some of the ads. Not going to show you today. And here's another copy. Yeah, I got this tape for Christmas. This year. This past year, I'm saying. Print dates October 13th, 1997. So these two were printed a day apart. Here's the first copy with the 1997 Green Ape and Warning Screens. Yeah, I got this tape in the mail from Amazon back in back in 2011. So label print date is October 9th, 1997. So this one and this one were both printed into five days apart. This and this were both printed four days apart. And these two were printed four days apart as well. The next one, the second copy with the 1997 Green Air Bear warning screens. This one I may be getting rid of. The print date is November 14th, 1997. So this copy and this copy were both printed a month apart. <laughs> Putting them all back now. Yeah. <clears throat> Next is the 1997 VHS of Georgia the Jungle. Yeah, it says two thumbs up, says Siskel and Ebert. It's the spine of George, the top, and the other spine, and the back. And it says hilariously funny. Five stars, highest ranking. And this is Newsday Kids Day. It's a tape with the ink label and the print dates November 7th, 1997. So it was printed three days after her election day that year. Next is my 1997 VHS of Winnie the Pooh Cowboy Pooh. Yeah. I got this tape at the Goodwill store in Holland, Michigan. Back on... January 18th, 2014. It's the spine of Pooh. The top and the other spine and the back. There is no critic view. It's the tape with the ink label and the print dates November 25th, 1999. So this is a reprint. But this tape still has from 1997 VHS. And the next one I've ha I've had for an extremely long time, and that would be the 1997 VHS of Winnie the Pooh Pooh Party. Yeah, I got this tape back in 2005. Spine of Pooh Bear, top, and the other spine in the back. And there is no critic review. It's a tape with the ink label, and it's got a blue lid and black reels. This is how you can tell I got this in 2005. Print date's November 15th, 2004, so this tape is obviously a reprint. But this tape still has previews from the 1997 VHS. The next tape I have is my 1997 VHS of Airbud. This is irresistible, it says KNX CBS Radio. Spine of Airbud. And the back, and it says. A heartwarming family comedy that will make you feel good, says Newsday Kids Day. It's the tape with the ink label. The print, it's got two print dates, September 27th, 1998 and September 28th, 1998. So, these so those are both printed a day apart. This tape does still have previews from 1997 VHS when I checked it. Next tape is the 1997 demo VHS of Airbud. Same critic review. 
Irresistible says KNX CBS Radio. Spying from Airbud in the back. Snow Creek View in the back, though. It's just a demo tape. It's a tape. It's got a vertical sticker label. And a print date from October 2nd, 1997. A lot of tapes I find. Well, most Disney tapes have ink labels. This one's got a vertical sticker label. Well, some of them have vertical sticker labels. Next is the 1998 VHS of Belle's Magical World. It's, a, it's got three magical storybook adventures. It's the spine file Belle. In the back, and this is an all-new fa feature-length fantasy. Mm -hmm. It's a tape with the ink label. And the print date is December 10th, 1997. Even though this is a 1998 VHS. The next tape is the 1998 VHS of Cinderella. Which I got this tape at the Goodwill store in Holland, Michigan. Back on August 6, 2012. It's part of Meh. Magic of the Wonderful World of Disney. It's the spine cover of Cinderella. And the back, and this is a spectacular new Roger and Hammerstein Cinderella from Disney. It's the tape with the ink label. And the print date is January 16th, 1998. I believe this tape has already turned 17 years old. Next... I have three Flubber 1998 VHS's. This is the first copy, which I got to tape at the Goodwill store in Holland, Michigan, back on August 17th, 2011. Here's the spine character of, of Philip Brainerd. The back, this is outrageously funny. It says WBAI Radio of New York. It's the tape with the ink label. Print date is February 23rd, 1998. This one does not have a trailer for Mulan. But next, who do? Yeah, this is the second copy. This is a later pressing. I got this tape from my Auntie Gail back on July 5th, 2012. It's the same casing. The label is the same. It's got a different print date from March 22nd, 1998. So these two were printed almost a month apart. Next is a third copy, which got this tape after church on... November 10th and 9th, 2013. Not November 9th, November 10th. Print date's March 20th, 1998. So, these two were both printed a day apart. Two, day, two days apart, I mean. And the next one is one of my favorites. It's the Brave Little Toaster Goes to Mars, 1998 VHS. It's the all-new feature-length movie. Here's the spine, character profile of Toaster. And the back says, inspired by the critically acclaimed Parents' Choice Award winner, The Brave Little Toaster. It's a tape with the dark sticker label. Yeah, it does need to get rewound. The print date is March 27, 1998. The next tape is the 1998 VHS of The Spirit of Mickey, which I got to tape at the Goodwill store in Holland, Michigan, back on January 20th, 2012. It's a spine from Mickey. In the back, and it says, it, it was all started by a mouse, says Walt Disney. It's the tape with the ink label. The print date is June 6th, 1998. The next tape is the 1998 VHS of Pocahontas 2, Journey to a New World. It's the only movie. Here's the spine character for Pocahontas. And the back, this says, the fun, this fun-filled adventure adds a new chapter to Disney's classic story. Yeah, I remember I used to have a copy of this tape, which I, which that copy I remember buying on March 10th, 2012. Yeah, that copy, well, it broke. It's a tape with the ink label, and the print date is June 30th, 1998. 
believe this tape was printed four days before Independence Day. The next tape is the 1998 VHS of the Jungle Book Mowgli story. It's the only feature length movie. It's the spine of uh, Mowgli and the back. And there's no critic review. It's a tape with the ink label. The print date is August 25th, 1998. Next tape is the 1998 VHS of The Lion King 2, Simba's Pride. It's the spine of Kiara. And the back, and it says, A worthy successor to the throne of the most successful animated film of all time, says Scott Hetrick of the Los Angeles Times Syndicate. The tape with the ink label, print date is September 16th, 1998. I used to have a copy of this tape, and I, it didn't break or anything. Just got, just didn't need anymore since I now have this copy. Next tape is the 1998 VHS of the Parent Trap. I used to have a copy of this tape, but that broke. And that's why I have this tape now. The spine. And the back, and it says, The best family film in years is Diane Kaminsky of KHOU-TV, Houston. It's a tape with the ink label. Print date is November 6, 1998. I know there's a crack right here. Yeah, this tape does have a couple cracks. And that's, but that is how I bought it. And the tape is still in good shape. Except for right there. It's just a little bit it, it crinkled right there. It's not as badly damaged, though. It does still work. It does get a little bit damaged at the end. Oh, but not not that badly damaged. The next tape is 1998 VHS of the Santa Claus. It's destined to become a holiday classic, says the New York Post. Here's the spine cover of Scott Calvin in the back. It says, wonderful, good family fun. It says, Jeffrey Lyons of ABC TV. I believe that's all the same information that is on the 1995 VHS. The case is the same, except it's in a clamshell. Yes, here's the tape with the ink label. It's the same label. Print date is December 4th, 2000. So this tape is a reprint. The next tape is the 1998 VHS of Summer of the Monkeys. It's, it's a one boy's discovery leads to the adventure of a lifetime. Here's the spine and the back, and it says, Heartwarming adventure in the great Disney tradition of Old Yeller. It's the tape with the ink label. Print date is May 22, 2000. This is a reprint, I'm guessing. Next tape is the 1998 VHS of Airbud Golden Receiver. It says, You and your kids will love this movie, says the Kansas City Sun. It's the spine curve of, of Airbud and the back. And it says, A fun movie with a real bite, says, says Gene Wolf of Most Hollywood. It's the tape with the ink label. Print date is November 19th, 1998. And the next tape I'm going to show you, this is the 1999 VHS of Winnie the Pooh sang a song with Pooh Bear. It's Pooh's very first sing-along musical. Here's the spine, cook for Pooh Bear. And the back, and it says, Hip Hip Pooh Ray. First Ray Age Family Entertainment, Smack Trotman of Family Fun. The songs include Winnie the Pooh, Rumbly in My Tumbly, The Wonderful... Little thing about Tiggers, Kangaroo Hop, Try a Little Something New, High and Low, Oh, The One and Only One, Floating Song, um, Harvest What You Grow, Heffal and Some Woozles, Nothing Is Too Good for a Friend, and My Song. The words do appear on the screen, and the bonus footage is Learn How to Draw Poo. That's, that bonus footage is at the end. It's a tape with the ink label. Print date's January 15th, 1999. Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video, Yeah, I had no school today, so that's why I decided to do this video. This is next 
1999 VHS of Mighty Joe Young. This is the next tape I'm showing you. That's what I was going to say. Yep. Spying of Joe. And in the back, it says, The best family movie of the year. This is KCOP TV of UPN. The case is in bad shape, but the tape still works, I think. It's a tape with the ink label. Print date is February 25th, 1999. The tape is still in good sh shape, I think. Next, I've got five Bugs Life 1999 VHSs. Made me think, gang, why do I have five of them instead of just Well, two of them, I believe, have the flick cover, or flick covers. I do not have a Francis cover yet. And these are my two copies with the flick cover. Remember I'm going to show you first. First copy, uh, got this tape at the Goodwill store in Holland, Michigan, back on J on August 20th, 2000, and I'm uh, not, no, not in Holland, Michigan, in, in Benton, Arkansas, back on August 20th, 2004. Fourteen. This is THX certified. This is spine profile flick. In the back, this says features two sets of hilarious outtakes as seen in theaters. Special bonus is Jerry's Game Award uh, Academy Award winning short from Pixar, and an exclusive sneak peek of Disney's Tarzan. It's a tape with an ink label. Yeah, there's a crack right there, but that's a, no big deal. The print date is March 28, 1999. Yeah, this tape is a little bit damaged. Looks fine to me, but it's just a little bit damaged. It's kind of, kind of shake. It's kind of messy through the whole tape, but not badly damaged though. Here's the second copy with flick on the cover. Yeah, I got this tape at the Salvation Army thrift store in Holland, Michigan. This one works better. It's the label and the print date from. March 21st, 1999. I put my two flip covers back. Just gonna show the rest of the covers. And here's the one with, with, with Dot on the cover. Yeah, I got this tape at the Goodwill store in Holland, Michigan back on August 17th, 2011. Yeah, this was the first copy, VHS copy of Bugs Life I ever bought. Spying, well, Dot, back. It's got all the same information. Tape with the ink label. The print dates March 23rd, 1999. So this tape and that second flick cover uh, were both printed uh, two days apart. Next is the, is the one with Heimlich on the cover. Yeah, it's spying of uh, Heimlich. Back. It's got all the same information. This is the tape with the ink label. It's a former rental. I'm guessing. So it was printed March 25th, 1999. So this tape was printed two days apart from the from the dot cover. Printed four days apart from the second flick cover. Yep. Yeah. I forgot to show you this. Warning. If seal is broken, customer must purchase tape. Yeah, this is this is a former rental. It came from yeah, and it, yeah, it came from Video Oasis. Yeah, that's a former uh, yeah, that's a rental store that closed. It was on it was on Felch Street. And this is gonna be the last one I show in this part. This is the one with Hopper on the cover. Which my dad brought this tape home from room back on July 25th, 2014. Spine profile of Hopper and the back. It's got all the same information. It's tape with the ink label. This is the print dates March 26, 1999. It's tape and the copy with Heimlich on the cover were both printed a day apart. This one was a former rental from Greenwood Movie Rental. Came from Greenwood, Arkansas. 
I don't know if that that store is still open or not. And I gotta go now, and I'll see you in part two. As always, peace out.